Let's write the formula for bromous acid. So since we have an acid here, it's going to start with H. Acids usually start with H. So we have our hydrogen atom here. We'll put that right up front. Next, when we look at the name bromous acid, there is no prefix. There's nothing in front of it. So we don't have hydro in front of our bromous acid. It's just bromous acid. That means we're going to have more than two elements. We're going to have three elements in our formula here for bromous acid. And that will involve a polyatomic ion. So we look at the name. We're going to look at the stem here. We have brome and then this OUS. So right here, stem plus OUS, we'll use these guidelines to write the formula. First, we write the stem. That's the brome. And then instead of OUS, we're going to put ite at the end. And this will give us the name of the ion. So we have the bromite ion. And we can look that up on a table of ions. My table of ions doesn't have the bromite ion, so I went out to the web. You can use another resource. And I found that the bromite ion is BrO2, and it has an ionic charge of 1 minus. So we saw that the stem was followed by OUS. We just replaced that with ITE. That gave us the ion, and we looked that up. So at this point, we have HBrO2 as the formula for bromous acid. Now we need to balance the charges. Hydrogen, group 1 on the periodic table, be 1 plus. We said this whole bromite ion here is 1 minus, so the charges balance out. That means this is the formula for bromous acid, HBrO2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.